mighty name of Jesus. At the end, oh God, let only your name be praised. In Jesus' wonderful, mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Please, let's be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Our topic is when God says yes, he has purpose. Like, for the Lord of hosts, that's Isaiah 14, 27, say, for the Lord of hosts has purpose, and who shall disannul it? When God says yes, for the Lord of hosts hath purpose, who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Meaning that when God has purpose, he has purposed something for you. What has the Lord purposed? He has purposed something wonderful for us. And who is that person that will say, what God has said concerning you will not come to pass? Praise the Lord. Who is that person that will say that? Praise the mighty Jesus. And when we get, uh, please, engineer, you help me tonight if you are there. Isaiah 14, 24. Isaiah 14, 24. Give me Isaiah 14, 24. Isaiah 14, 24. So say, the Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have proposed, so shall it stand. Praise the Lord. As he has thought, so shall it come to pass. And the word of the Lord told us in Jeremiah 29, 11, 29, a bit 29, 11, said that the thought of God towards us is the thought of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. Praise the Lord. The thought that God has towards us. That is what God is giving us assurance here. That he has proposed it to do something. So, who shall stand against it? What the Lord has proposed will surely come to pass. I decree into your life that whatever God has proposed for you will surely come to pass in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus has the final say in our lives. He has the final say. Nobody can stop him because it's unstoppable. And that is why if nobody can stop the Lord from doing what he has proposed to do for you, you are unstoppable even to get to your glory. And that will be your portion in the name of Jesus. God does not lie. When he speaks, it is done. Number 23, 19 says so. That God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that will come to repentance. As he said it, as he not make it good. So whatever God has said, he is able to bring it to pass. If he cannot do it, he will not promise it. Praise the Lord. His word does not return back to him. Isaiah 55, verse 11 says, The word that the Lord has spoken out of his mouth, that has come out of his mouth, will not go back to, to him void. He shall accomplish that which the Lord has pleases. Praise the Lord. He shall accomplish which the Lord has pleases. That is God. So our God is awesome. No one can stop him from doing whatever he has made up his mind to do. Why will the Lord speak and no man can change it? Why is it like that? Why is it that God can speak and nobody can change it? Number one is because he's the God of gods. There's no God like him. Isaiah 43, 11 says so. That there's no God like our God. Beside him, there's no other savior. He's the only one that can save. He's the only one that is the mighty God. Nobody like him. Because he is God. He's superior over everything. He made the heaven and the earth. Number two, he's the one that created everything. He created the heaven. He created the earth. Psalm 21, verse 1 said, the Lord, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He has everything. He got to it say that silver is mine, gold is mine. And in Psalm 50, when you read down what it says, is the owner of thousand uh, cattle, uh, is the owner of cattle in thousand hills. Me, God is God of abundance. He has everything. He has everything. And according to John, chapter 1, verse 3, it says, all things was made by him. Everything was made by him. 
Even Colossians 1 16 says, whether there be thrones, whether there be anything, God created everything all. Praise the Lord. He created everything. He created everything. He's the all powerful. According to that same Colossians 1 16, God is the all powerful God. And the Bible says, our God is far above principalities and power. Praise the Lord. It's far above principalities and power. And every power that we want to hinder your move, that we want to hinder your success, that will be saying no, they are from the kingdom of darkness. Praise the Lord. They are from the kingdom of darkness. And our God seated in heaven, and darkness is under his feet. Praise the name of the Lord. Darkness is under his feet. So who will ask him, what do I thou? Because it's unquestionable God. Our God is unquestionable God. And that is why this, uh, this is assurance that we should have at the back of our mind. That we have someone that is great and mighty. Somebody that can fight our battle for us. Somebody that cannot deny us. Even though the power of darkness, they may want to deny us. We have someone that cannot deny us. We have someone that has made that promise that will bring it to pass. And I pray the promise of God will surely come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. What are the Lord purpose that cannot be disannulled? They say, because the Lord has proposed it, who shall disannul it? What are those things that the Lord has proposed? In John 10, 10, God says, he has given us, he has come to give us life and to give it to, to us more abundantly. To give us life more abundantly because the devil is the one that comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But he has come that we may have life. No wonder the devil was able to deceive Adam and Eve and took away everything from them. He stole their glory. He stole everything from them. He gave unto them death. Praise the Lord. But Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. He came to give us life again. He came to punish every multitude of no that will not allow us to have peace. That will not allow us to have or and rest. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. He came to give us abundant life. And when we are talking of abundant life, everything that you can think of in this life that will sustain you is in abundant life. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. It's an abundant life. What are those things? Number one is provision. He said we provide for all your needs according to riches in glory by Christ Jesus according to Philippians 4.19. And that's why Psalm 34 10 says that God says it's the children of lion that lack and suffer right hunger, but those that seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. So he is ready to provide for you everything that you need that will sustain you. The Lord will provide it for you. I pray. Maybe somebody is here. You are trusting God for provision. He will surely provide for you in the name of Jesus. He has done it before. He did this for Elijah. And he did it for the woman of Sarephath. He can also do it in your own life too. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. What are the things that we are talking, when we are talking of abundant life also? Fruitfulness is part of it. Fruitfulness is part of it. When you read Deuteronomy 28, verse 11. Deuteronomy 28, verse 11. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in good, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, and in the land which the Lord swear unto thy father to give thee. Praise the Lord. What did they say? We make do those things. They say, and the Lord shall make you plenteous. That is God. That is what the Lord says. That we will make you to have in plenty. You will have in plenty. You will be satisfied. That is the Lord speaking there. So if there's any power that is saying no to plenty in your life, tonight the Lord will cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will punish them according to the word of God in the name of Jesus. Because fruitfulness is your portion. Maybe you are looking for fruit of the womb. It is your portion to bring forth. That's what the Lord says. It is your portion to bring forth. You are not supposed to be barren. The Bible says there shall not be barren in the land. Praise the Lord. There shall not be barren. What are those things? Number three is greatness. Greatness is part of it. Genesis 12. Genesis 12, 3. It, the Lord said, it will make us great. It will make us great. In that Genesis, when we read from 1, he told Abraham, 
that he should leave his family and go to a land that will show him and it will make him great. That whoever that blessing will be blessed, anyone that cursed him will be cursed. That is why I know if there's any power saying no, God has also promised that anybody that cursed will be cursed. So maybe there's a power, there's an enchantment working against you. They will surely be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus because whoever that cursed will have be cursed, those things will surely return back to the owner in the name of Jesus. Because you will be great according to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Number four says, prosperity is part of it. That you will prosper. Deuteronomy 28 verse 8. He said, the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouse and all that thou settest thy end unto. And it shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Praise the Lord. That means that you will be blessed. You will prosper. Whatever you, you lay your hands upon will prosper. No wonder when they, Joseph found himself in Potiphar's house, the Bible told us that everything was prospering in the hands of Joseph. I pray that will be somebody's portion in the name of Jesus. Maybe you have been moving from one business to another and you don't even know what to do again. The one that you are doing right now, the Lord will make you prosper in the name of Jesus. You will not bankrupt in Jesus' name. Third John 2 says, The Lord himself says, Above all things, that that may yet prosper. That that may yet prosper. It is the will of God that will prosper. God did not want any one of us to suffer. He did not want us to beg for anything. Because he is able. If he's not able, he will not create you. He's the one that created you. And he know how he will make it, your life to be wonderful. Part of it is a victorious life because the one that is living under abundance that they have abundant life will live a victorious life. Praise the Lord. You will live a victorious life. That same to Solomon 28 verse 7 says, The Lord shall cause the, thy enemy that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee in one way and they shall flee before thee seven ways. Praise the Lord. Every enemy that are troubling you, every enemy that is saying no, the Lord said they will flee away in seven ways. They will flee away because you will be a victorious person beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord had victory even over death. Maybe you are here, all the dream you are always having is about death, death, death. Don't be afraid. Be not dismayed according to Isaiah 41 from 10. The Lord told us that we should not be dismayed, we should not be afraid. That is going to help you the Lord will arise for your help and he will deliver you from power of death in the name of Jesus. Because Isaiah 25 verse 88 says he has uh, 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 he had victory over death. Praise the Lord. That God had victory over death. So because he had victory over death, because grave could not hold him down, he can rebook the power of death from tormenting you. All you need is to believe in, in, in him that he can do it. And he will do it. It says you will live a consecrated life when you are living an abundant life. That part of abundant life is a consecrated life. Consecrated life. Deuteronomy 28, 9. He said, The Lord shall establish thee an holy people unto himself. He will establish you an holy people unto himself. He will consecrate you unto himself. Praise the Lord. The Lord will consecrate you unto himself. There will be only people. In 1 Peter 2, 9, he said, we are the chosen generation. We are the royal priesthood. We are the holy nation. We are peculiar people. So that we can show forth the praises of him that have called us out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. Praise the Lord. So God has called us to be holy. He said, we make us holy people unto himself. If you only we will listen to him. Praise the Lord. Part of it is abundant life. Part of it is peaceful life. Part of the abundant life is that you will live in peace. He said his peace is live with us. Not as the world liveth. Praise the Lord. God said he's going to give you peace. His name is Prince of Peace. He's Prince of Peace. He said he will give you peace. You will have unranked peace in the name of Jesus. Maybe in your marriage, you are going through some challenges. You are going through some storms. The Lord will make them still in the name of Jesus. 
peace be still in the name of Jesus. Maybe in your career, you are experiencing so many troubles. In your office, your boss did not like you. Don't panic. You have the one that has spoken concerning you. He will surely give you peace in the name of Jesus. In your office, you will have peace in the name of Jesus. In your marriage, you will have peace in the name of Jesus. He can arise and help us. He said he will help us. Don't be afraid because God will arise and help us. And don't be afraid of any witches or wizards. Those ones, they just used to make noise. Ba, 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 ba. Don't be afraid of the way they will be doing it. Or maybe uh, you feel they are tormenting your dream or all, all, everything that is going around you. You discover that, ah, this must be or who are you? According to Yoruba, we say. This is not ordinary. This is not ordinary. Don't be panicked. Don't panic because of that. Because Isaiah 49 verse 26 told us, he said that those that want to eat your flesh will eat their own flesh. He will contend with whoever that want to contend with you. And those that want to drink your blood, they will be drunk of their own blood. Praise the Lord. And paraventure, maybe it is your sin that is tormenting you. You don't need to fear. Once you have come to Christ, he's able to deliver you. Praise the Lord. That's why in Isaiah 20, uh, 49 verse 25 said that he will deliver you. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Can the prey be taken from the mighty that the lawful captive also will be delivered. Even though you have been taken in captivity lawfully, the Lord said will still arise and help you, will still deliver you. Praise the Lord. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So, God says he will make you a channel of blessing to other people. You will be a channel of blessing. He said, you will be above only. He said, you will, not, you will not borrow. You will lend to nations. Praise the Lord. The Lord says, you will be the head. You will not be the tail. Praise the Lord. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Maybe they have been looking down on you. Don't worry yourself. Our God lives. it. And because he lives, you can face tomorrow. Because he lives, for fear is gone. Because you know he owns your future. And life is what I live in just because he lives. Life is what I live in. Why? Because our God lives it. He has proposed to do you good. He has proposed to bless you. He said we open the good treasure for you. Even in secret places. That is God speaking. That means things that people did not know. He will give you, the, he will reveal the secret to you. They will make you prosper. All you need to do is just to call on him. When you cry unto him, say, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you. When God say yes, the yes of God means answer prayers. When you say yes, it means endorsement. Praise the Lord. It means endorsement. It means he will endorse everything that you have opened your mouth to say concerning yourself. He will honor it. He will answer your prayers. That will be somebody's portion in the name of Jesus. Finally, the only thing that will make the purpose of God not to come to pass in our lives is sin. Hebrew 12, 1 to 2 say, let us lay aside every sin that is thus easily beset us. We should lay them aside. Maybe there's a particular sin we are always falling inside it from time to time. Every means you are already falling. You are already in it. And you, you also, you do not want this sin in your life, but you find yourself in it. You need to make sure everything in your capacity to do away with it, whatever it will take, whatever it will cost, so that you can fulfill destiny. Praise the Lord. Because the only thing that will not make the promise of God to come to pass is when we are living in sin. Sin is a destroyer. It will not destroy you in the name of Jesus. The way they used to write it at the back of our bulletin, they say sin is a sinker. It will not sink you in the name of Jesus. The grace and the power to overcome sin, the Lord will give you in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are going to rise up, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to say, Father, Father, all that you are proposed to do for me, please do it in my life. Begin to pray. Pray to the Lord that all that the Lord has proposed to do for you, there is something God has proposed to do for you. He said we do a new thing in your life. Open your mouth and tell God, Father, do a new thing in my life. He said, we open good treasures to you. Open it to me, Lord. Begin to pray. 
Pray everything God has proposed to do in your life. Pray that the Lord should bring it to pass. Pray that let you, the Lord should do all those things for you. Begin to pray, Father, everything you have proposed to do for me. Father, please do it, O God. Do it for me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Do it, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray. Say, Father, you are the one that have the final say. Let no power be able to deny me of your good thought towards me. Because the thought of God towards us is the thought of peace and good and not of evil. But the power of darkness, they can deny you. Sin can deny you. If you are not careful, if you are not prayerful. Let's begin to pray. Father, please, oh God, let you are the one that have the final say. Let no power be able to deny me of your good thought towards me. Let's pray that no power be able to deny us of the good thought of God towards us. Father, please, oh God, all your good thought towards me. Let no power be able to deny me, Lord. You are the one that have final say over my life. Let no power be able to have final say. Failure will not have power say over my life. Pray. Failure will not have power, uh, a final say. Begin to pray. Shame will not have final say over my life. Reproach will not have final say over my life. Poverty will not have final say over my life. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. According to Ezekiel 13, verse 15, say, God says it will punish, it will cut off the multitude of no. He says it's going to cut them off. It will cut them off. So we are going to pray. Say, Father, every power that has been saying no, no to glory, no to joy, no to peace, Father, tonight, cut them off from me. Let's begin to pray. Cut them off from me, every power that has been saying no, no to, to this, no to that, no to glory, no to blessing, no to abundance, no to joy. Father, cut them off from me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, cut them off. In the name of Jesus, call them off, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And in another Bible passage, Jeremiah 46 25, the Lord said, He's going to punish them. So we are going to pray, say, Father, every power saying no to glory, to joy, to peace, to marriage, to riches, to power, to wealth. Let's begin to pray that the Lord will punish them. Is the word of the Lord that says so. Father, punish them. Punish every power. Whether they are in my father's house, whether they are in my mother's house, Father, punish them, O God, in the name of Jesus. Punish them, O God, in the name of Jesus. Punish them, O God, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, no power can stop you from doing what you want to do. Let me also be unstoppable. Let's begin to pray. Father, no power can stop you, oh God. Father, let me be unstoppable. In the name of Jesus, let's pray that we'll be unstoppable. Let's begin to pray. Father, make me unstoppable, oh God. Let no power be able to stop me. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, let me fulfill destiny. Oh God, my Father, let me fulfill my God-given destiny, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me fulfill destiny, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say father let no power be able to abuse the glory you have bestowed upon my life let's begin to pray that no power will be able to abuse the glory the lord has bestowed upon you there are some people they have taken away their glory they are just empty that will not be your portion pray tonight oh god let no power be able to abuse the glory that you have bestowed upon me oh god my father let them not be able to abort it oh god in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, I want to live abundant life. Let's begin to pray. Father, let me live abundant life, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I want to live abundant life. Father, make me prosperous. It's part of abundant life. Father, make me fruitful. It's part of abundant life. Father, make me victorious. It's part of abundant life. Father, make me great. Let's begin to pray. Father, I want to live abundant life, oh God. Father, make me prosperous. Make me fruitful. Make me victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make me a channel of blessing to others. Let's begin to pray. Father, make me a channel of blessing to others. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make me a channel of blessing to others, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
say, Father, whenever I call upon you, O oh God, because when you say yes, nobody can say no. Endorse my prayer, O oh God, and let me see the testimony in my life. Let's begin to pray. Father, Lord, when you say yes, nobody can say no, O oh God. Father, Lord, whenever I call upon you, O oh Lord, answer my prayers, O oh God, and let me see the testimony in my life. Let me see the testimony in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me see the testimony, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Eternal Rock of Ages, we want to say thank you. Daddy, we glorify your name for you are ever faithful. You are ever loving. You are ever caring. Thank you for your word that came tonight. Glory be to your name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O God, that Lord, because you are God, you are unstoppable. Father, let your children be unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, every multitude of no, Father, punish them for their sake in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that is multitude of no, Father, call them off from them in the name of Jesus. Be in poverty, be in failure. Father, call them off from your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the promise of abundant life, Father, bring it to pass even in their life in the name of Jesus. Let your children live a prosperous life in the name of Jesus. Let them live a victorious life in the name of Jesus. Make them great in the mighty name of Jesus. Make them a channel of blessing in the name of Jesus. That that will make them great, O oh God. Father, reveal to them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, O oh God, my Father. You are the one that have the final say over their life. Let no power be able to have final say over their life in the name of Jesus. Every power that have been saying no, no to greatness, no to joy, no to peace, oh God. In that name that is above every other name, let them not have final say, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, because your children are here tonight, oh God, do wonderful things in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be well with them and their family in the mighty name of Jesus. Beginning today, from today, whatever they lay their hands upon, let them prosper in the name of Jesus. Make them fruitful, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you that all these prayers, O oh God, we believe you have answered our prayers because you say when we pray, we should believe we have received. Thank you, Father, because we know that our prayers have been answered tonight. Blessed be your name, O God, in Jesus' mighty, wonderful name we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let us stretch forth our hands to our mommy and begin to bless her. Because she has watered us, let us also water her back. Let us begin to pray that every virtue that she has lost, that God Almighty will replenish in hundredfold. Let us pray that she will also live in abundance in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that everything that she has told God, that God will say yes to them, he will endorse all our prayers. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Offering time. I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my favor. I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my favor. I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my favor. I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around for my favor. I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my favor. We thank you for ab out of all you have given yeah. to us, you have brought this token. We pray that you accept us and accept our gift to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Daddy, as many that do not have to give, I pray that you provide for them, Lord, in abundance in the name of Jesus. Daddy, as I'm asking you, please say yes to them in Jesus' name. Daddy, we use our offering as a point of contact to everything we have been asking you. Daddy, endorse them and say yes in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. 
Please let's have our seats. God bless us as we listen to this following announcement. This tomorrow evening by 7 p.m., our Holy Ghost service will be on. Please let us watch and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Evangelism on Saturday by 4 p.m. Come and evangelize and bring more souls to Christ. And as we do that, I know God will not live our life. He will see to our cases in the name of Jesus. On Sunday, we have three services, as we all know. First service from 7.30 to 8.55. Second service, 9 a.m. to 10.25. In between second and third service, we have Sunday school, 10 a.m., 10.25 to 10.55. And by third service, we have, by third, third, third service starts by 11 to 12.25 12 p.m. And as we come and bless God, I know that he will not leave us, he will not abandon us in Jesus' name. Let us not also forget that this Sunday is Thanksgiving service. Let us come and say thank you for all he has done for us from January till date. And also thank God for Nigeria. On Sunday, by 5.30 p.m., there will be communion service here. Please let us come and be blessed. And I know that God that heals, even to the foundation, as we take the communion, it will sit to our case and will not be the same in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Let us stand up and share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord.